Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and in this video, I am going to be joining the Ultima RS Finals. Four hours, 20 minutes left to go. That was not intended <laughs> to be the join time, but here we go. This is the hand that I'm going to be using, and first, let's just drop some upgrades into these cars because I've got a lot of cash saving up for 500k for when the new update drops, and I'll do a new pack opening for that then, but right now we gotta deplete the cash a little bit to upgrade these epics. Hoping that my hand can get me a epic prize card, not epic prize card, an epic prize though. I would like either the 911 Speedster 3.8 or the TVR Sabera Speed 8 because both of those are new epics, so I will be keeping either one I get. And I already have the Insignia VXR Unlimited and I'm not going to end up in ceramic tier to get a Porsche Boxster. I'd rather take a carbon fiber anyways, so hopefully I can finish an epic tier with this hand. I have the 155 GTA Stradale for the off-road, which, yeah, I'm not a Stelvio owner, so gotta struggle a bit there. I have a 233 Alfa Romeo Pandion maxed from a previous final, a 111 Alfa Romeo Sima for those drags, 233 4C Spider for the twisty stuff, and a 111 TZ3 Stradale, but I feel like that's probably better than another 4C because it's got really good MRA. So, let's just jump right on into it and see what we have, what we're going to be going up against. Um, yeah, there's also that City Street small track set, so yeah. Seems like a lot of people are using medium cars, but doesn't really matter. We'll just take a loss anyways there. So we'll use that there. Indoor karting. You'll go in small, indoor karting, one mile, and fast circuit. So this will be what I'll use. This is really going to be the only difficult track set is this GeForce Test Dirt and the city streets small as well so not gonna have as much of a fun time on that track set but glad to see it's the first one i get out of the way so when i don't get up to, into higher ranks that'll be the tracks that i'll have to play this will be interesting we probably yeah are not beating the tc3 corsa don't know why i thought it was interesting it's really light but race three now this will actually be kind of interesting okay we still lose by a lot to a standard tire car but on all of the track sets we will win that with our four-wheel drive perfs here we get 141 points because Yasima has 112 MRA. 83rd place, all right, not too bad. Let's see what the top looks like. Um, I don't really see anybody. I mean, I see a few names I recognize, but not, not anything important. So let's just jump right into the next match. And this one's definitely going to be an easy win. We were in carbon fiber tier already. So I do feel like we might have a good shot at getting an Epic. Um, that goes there streets long and slalom test because it isn't a bad hand it would be a decent hand if there was an off-road then i'd be having a much better chance near 50 points again against the 8c spider but if there wasn't that off-road i'd definitely be having a much nicer chance in this finals because then i might have upgraded my epics a little bit and actually i wouldn't have i have no fuse but i would have used another 4c spider instead of that alfa romeo gta but instead i got to use the gta for stuff like this monaco hairpin mixed and then here, the Pandion will win. Pandion's actually a pretty decent maxed out epic. 3.195, 133 races, 78% win ratio. Not too bad, it's just a decent all-rounder sort of epic. 50th place now at 2-0. Pretty decent so far. Yeah, that looks beatable. Um, beatable. Beatable. I think, yeah, beatable. Beatable and beatable. So all these hands are beatable. So let's just pick random one. We got this one. Jeff Hess is going to take a loss, I believe, actually. Oh, oh yeah, we got three wins easily because we got win right there. Long drag will lose. Um, Ocean Highway, we win, and there we win. So three wins. I don't think we beat the Novola, though, but he's got two fuses in his TZ3 Chanel engine and chassis. I was going to say weight and chassis, but no, nope, engine and chassis. 4C wins here against their non-maxed 4C. So... My Alfa Romeo collection has definitely gotten a lot better with the new updates, like Amalfi Coast Cruising. Really, that's the only new Alfa Romeo update, but Amalfi Coast Cruising definitely helped out my Alfa Romeo collection, which was pretty bad. It never really was that great until now. Now it's actually pretty strong, but let's see if we can win here. We are staying close behind. Nope, we do lose on the dirt, though, so we weren't able to catch back up and take a lead. 184 to 100 into 33rd place now. We get to pick one car. 3-0. Let's see what else we are going to be going up against. The, there's a Stelvio. Let's see how many other Stelvios there are. No, no, no other Stelvios yet, which is pretty interesting. That guy's got double legendaries, so one of which is 
Oh, that's such a horrible legendary to two star though. I don't even know why you'd even do that. You don't even have a chance at winning the prize car with a hand like this. You need a Stelvio if you want to win the prize car and... Dang. Oh, he dropped two fuses in this one too? Oh man, I don't even know why you'd do that. Because it's such a bad legendary. Like, it's so not good. That I just don't know why you dropped... What's that? 15 epics into two of them? Because you're not going to get much use out of them. They might even drop down to epic again. So... We'll put you on loop, you on bridge, and you can go on off ramp. We should have three wins, I believe. Pretty, I've got pretty high hopes we'll have three wins here. So Pandion wins on the Tokyo loop. But, I mean, it's a saloon, I guess, but it's four-wheel drive slick, which inflates its RQ. It's got 100 MRA, but it's just not that great, that legendary. It's just really meh. It's honestly just a really meh legendary. Like, you kind of need a TZ3 Corso with that hand. All right, yep, the Asima wins, 54 points too. The Asima's just such a crazy good car. And the TZ3 Stradale will win here because it's got like 98 MRA or something like that too. So it's also really good. 154 to 100, that puts us in 26th place now. Now let's count the Stelvios. Zero, 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 one. Ooh, that one's got some fuses into it. Oh, three, three, two? Who three, three, two is a Stelvio? That's very interesting, all right. A 332 Stelvio. Huh. That was not something I was expecting to see, honestly. But we'll go for this guy, see if we can beat him. We'll win that. That'll be pretty interesting. That will be a win, I believe. Fast Circuit could also be a potential win, and Monaco Streets Long will be a win. It'll be interesting to see this one. The Pandion has no MRA. So yeah, we win. <laughs> we, we still exceeded its top speed. It hit 164, we hit 165. And it had like so many more miles per hour of extra top speed to hit. Like see, one star versus one star. Yep, one star versus one star and we win the fast circuit against it. Like it's just so not, not good. I mean, it's light, but it's really not light light. Like it's not legendary worthy light, especially cause it's also got slick tires. So you can't use it in the rain. So like, What's the point of it being a legendary? It'd be a pretty solid epic. It wouldn't even be like a like super meta epic. Oh, we lost by 50. Okay, if I had 323 spec, I would have won that, but I don't. I'm using my 233 spec because it's a bit more universal. But if it was an epic, it would be a pretty decent epic. I think it maxes out at like 3.4 100, which isn't bad. It's, it's solid. Like that would be a solid epic to have, especially because it's got slick tires. It's paired with slick tires, so... Not, it wouldn't even be that overpowered if it was an epic. It would actually, honestly just be pretty... It'd be like pretty mid for an RQ79 epic. But there we are, 5-0 and oh now. We are in the Porsche 911 Speedster tier, which I would prefer over the TVR Sabera Speed 8, but really, I'll be content with either of the two. So we've got four hours left to go. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Do we get any cars keeper-worthy? Mm, not really as of right now, because I do want to save up some slots and just get my money up for when the new update drops, because... I'm really excited to just keep a lot of low-tier cars. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll definitely hit the subscribe button because at 2,000 subs, I'll be doing a 2 million pack opening. Join the Discord link in the description. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching and goodbye.